G'day mate, 40 here. The Riverside Food Court in Brisbane. It's a beautiful Thursday afternoon, December 15, 2022. And uh, one reason I enjoy wearing a yarmulke out is that uh, it really helps you meet your fellow Jews. So just sitting here by the Brisbane River, got a lovely Hebrew greeting by a bloke who just moved here from Melbourne a couple of years ago and apparently there's quite the growing Jewish community in Brisbane. So here in Brizzy, he can afford like a five bedroom home with a swimming pool. I couldn't afford that in Melbourne. So Melbourne is the traditional center of Jewish life. It's where you get the most intense, most numerous Orthodox Judaism participants, institutions, right? So Melbourne tends to be much more Eastern European in origins. Sydney tends to be much more Central European and Western European. So a lot of Hungarians moved to Sydney, people from Germany, Jews from France, Spain, uh, England. And the Jews of Melbourne tend to come much more from Eastern Europe. So they tend to be more traditional, more intense in their Judaism. So in uh, 1918, uh, there, there was a, an observer who remarked that uh, Australia, of all the countries in the world, is probably the least influenced by Judaism. <laughs> right? Judaism made the smallest imprint on Australia, circa 1918, than any other country. So after World War II, a lot of Holocaust survivors moved to Australia. And now Australia is definitely in the top 10 of uh, Jewish countries. And uh, Jews are mainly in Melbourne, about uh, 30,000, and uh, in Sydney, about 20,000. Then, when I was here 22 years ago, there were about 2,000 Jews in uh, Brisbane. But uh, the community is growing. I've got a day school. They've got uh, four major synagogues, including a liberal synagogue. Uh, Chabad is growing here. And uh, 100 families have moved here recently. Just uh, building up Jewish life, kind of grassroots from the bottom up. You have to put more of an effort in. It's not like living in LA or San Francisco or New York, where uh, Judaism's just in the air. So when you live in the the Jewish outback, right? <laughs> you have to be more deliberative, you have to plan, you have to make much more of an effort. It doesn't come nearly as naturally. So as I've been walking along, and people say, oh, he's Jewish. So very, very rare. In fact, I've never seen anyone walking around with a yarmulke in Brisbane. And I have spent probably a total of uh, six months of my life in Brisbane since 1989 and yeah never ever seen anyone walking around with a yarmulke but it's a wonderful opportunity for me to come here and say a bracha Jewish blessing where maybe no one with a yarmulke has said one before so I was talking to my mate Tim Humphreys about Queensland politics and apparently Bob Catter who's about the most right-wing member of parliament, the Catter Party. Right? He, one of his claims to fame is that he egged the Beatles when they came out here in the 1960s because <laughs> he thought they were a dissolute bunch. So I, on my mother's side, have three generations from central Queensland. And about six years ago, due to a quirk in the Australian political system, Central Queensland elected a national senator, Fraser Anning, who's pretty much a white Australia bloke. So he only got something like 75 votes. <laughs> but due to the quirks of how the, the ballot works here, like he became a member of the Australian Senate and like he gave speeches you know, praising the traditional white Australian policy. Uh, he got thrown out after one term, but he quite had created quite the stir. So he was the most right-wing member of parliament. Then after him would 
would be the Catter Potty and Bob Catter, but uh, Fraser Anning, he was too racist for the Catter Potty and for Pauline Hansen's One Nation Potty. That's how far out he was, mate. So I've noticed that Aussies have taken up queuing and this is new, right? This is since COVID. So during COVID, people were asked to separate, to queue up. And now when, when the bus comes in, I notice there's not always a big jumble waiting for the bus. There's often a very orderly queue, which is not the Australia I remember. <laughs> 